the off. They only gave it a week with the lace to the wings, only one week. Now we're back to regular laws. I had to give I had to give the oil a break. Hey, everyone needs to relax first. <laughs> and we might start it up again next week. We'll see. <laughs> I don't know. Washing's pretty uh pretty we'll see what the well. tumbling uh, we'll see how this um see what the tumbling has to yeah. Sorry, sorry enough to you gotta find something else to talk about at the Shabbos table. Yeah. Not, not as much fun as this one. Yeah, yeah, yeah. Actually, I'm going to Lakewood for a dinner on Sunday, Bez Hashem. Depending on what I find out over there by the tumbling, that's that that will depend on how what we <laughs> how we go from there. Right. You heard of this right? You said Berkowitz or something? Yes, you I heard, heard the recording. Yeah. Uh-huh. Yeah, yeah. You'll excuse me, but Lapid and Bennett are making a new government tonight. It's a lot more important yeah. for Claudia Israel than the which, first wig, time with an Arab. which wigs you your wife wears. Did Not they win? Did they? Are they? Are they? No, they have to finalize it. They have to. Maybe wearing the wigs is why they were yeah. other was why they're getting the government. They called <laughs> Rivlin tonight to say they can make a government. They can make it, but they still have. They still have. They still have to get. You know, I understand, Naftali, but they mean they, they told Rivlin they can make a government. They could, but let's see if they do it. Let's hopefully they won't. Let's let's hope it doesn't last. Yeah, it's pretty scary. The Haredim, yeah. Us Haredim, we have to I think Hashem. I don't know what the message is, but he's certainly sending us messages, I know. Crazy Arab in the government. Yeah, seems that way. Yes. There's the Arabs are in the government are in this coalition. Yeah, first time in history, an Arab is in the coalition. They have a wow. picture of him shaking the Arab, uh, and this guy was the he was a big proponent of, of releasing terrorists. It's insane. It's insane what's going on. Crazy. Just because the secular movement is insane. Yeah, got a Davin. Got a diamond. Okay, let's go. Yeah. You gotta learn like this. Don't get this. Don't get. Don't drop. Don't die on these guys. Uh, okay. Yeah. <laughs> it's a lot of learning going on, and it hasn't happened. There's more learning done now than ever before. <laughs> um. Explain that. Yeah. Okay, so let's go. Yeah. I, I think he's right. We should turn this into an hour and a half here. More learning. Ah, now you're talking. Now you're talking. At 10. You've been trying that for a while. <laughs> Very good. <laughs> um, yeah, okay, so where do we leave off? So Omar of Nassan, yeah, four lines down from the top. Taf Nun Bez Omar Aleph. Oh, so there was Grada. Reben is on? Is he on yet? Not on? Because we said that this last thing that the Gemara left off with was that Chaviv and Yisrael Shalai Yitzrich and Akas of Lishlia. Chaviv and that uh, we didn't need a, the Pasuk didn't require us to have a to Shlia, meaning we can dive in ourselves to the bunch we don't need a Shlia. That's the way uh, Rashi said it. Rabbi Nachanan is a different shot, is that normally the Kayin Gadol wears the, because the, Rabbi, he said it a few weeks ago, last week, that he wears the the, uh, what's it called? Shmona, Shmona yeah, but, yeah, but he wears the with the belt. The meil, the meil, the meil. Yeah, yeah, the meil. Right. So the, the meil acts as sort of a, it's like a shliach. But on Yom Kippur, he's not wearing the meil when he's doing the main avoid of the he's not he's not wearing the meil. Right. Um, you don't need it. So that's what he's saying. On Yom Kippur, you don't need it. Because there's a direct connection between Kala Yisrael and the Rabban Shalom. There's no reason to have any of the, the bells, etc., to act as, as the shliach. Right? So Rashi is saying that it's, it applies to all year round. And the Rabban Hanan is saying, no, it applies specifically to Yom, to Yom Kippur. Right? But it's a, it's a very interesting shot. Right there to the left at the top of the Rabban Hanan. Yeah. Okay. So these next couple of blada after the last few days is, uh, is actually relatively... Uh, um, easy. So Amr of Nassan, Amatraxin. So we said that the Amatraxin, that was the wall that was one Amma thick. That was between the Kaidish Akadashim 
and the Hegel. Yeah? So lo yichriyu by Chachamim ikil afnim or ikil achutz. The Chachamim weren't sure whether it was part of the Kaidish or it was part of the Kaidish HaKadoshim. They just didn't know which, which, way, which, which way it went. So Maskal Ravina, Ravina had a kasha, my time, why they were sopik, ilem mashum tichsiv, if you think it's because it says in the Pasuk of Bayez Asher Bono HaMelech Shloyma, Lashem, that the, the Bayez that Shloyma built Hashem, Shishim Ama Orkoi, was 60 Amas long, Esrim Rachbai, 20 wide, Ushloyshim Ama Koi Masoi, and 30 high. So that's one Pasuk. Uksiv Arboim Ba'ama Hoyah Bayez, Hua Hechelefonai, and the the Bias, the Beis Amikdush was 40 Amas long, right? That's the Hechel. Okay, so so far we have we have one Pasuk that's saying that it's 60 feet long, 20 feet wide, 30 feet high. And then we have a Pasuk that says the Hechel was 40 Amas, not feet, I said feet, Amas. Right? Then we have the Pasuk that says that it was for, the Hechel was 40 Amas long, Uksiv, for the Fnei HaDvir, and in front of the Dvir, you know, so Dvir can mean different things different times. Here it means the mechitza. On the bottom one, it's going to mean something else. It's going to mean the the beis hamikdash. But lefnei hadvir esrim ama oirech. It's twenty amas long. Esrim ama roichiv twenty amas wide. Esrim ama koy masoy and twenty amas high. Right. The So those are the three psukim. So the loyadinon. So obviously the, the obvious question in the psukim, which we're not going to deal with now, is that one pasuk says it was thirty amas high, and the other pasuk said it was twenty amas high. Right, so how high was it? Was it 20 or was it 30? Okay, but uh, either way, so what, what's the Gemara getting at here? So the Gemara says, Dilma, mahani esrim, mahani and Maybe the wall is not from this 20 and not from the 40. Right? And the and the, the opening, meaning the, when the when the Pasuk is going through the measurements, it's only counting this open space, right? That's what Chalala means. Chalala Kachashiv, the Kaislam like Kachashiv, but the walls, the thickness of the walls is not being counted. Teda, and how do you know? Right? In Mimele, if it's not being counted, so then there's no Shaila that this wall, that the five Amas thick wall that's in between the Kaisha Kedashim and the Heichal is not, is not part of either one. Meaning the Gemaras, the, the Chachamim weren't sure whether the thickness of the wall if the wall is included in the Kaidish HaKadoshim or it's included in the Kaidish. Right? The Chalim didn't, didn't know which one it was. So the Gemara is trying to prove here that it's neither. Whenever it says measurements, it, it's, it's excluding the thickness of the wall. Teida. So the Gemara says, how do I know this? The Kol Heichet the Kaislim Whenever it starts counting walls, it counts it separately. Meaning the walls are counted separate from the opening uh, from the measurements of the opening. How do you know? The Tanan, now we need some basic arithmetic over here. The Tanan, HaHeichol Meya Al Meya Barom Meya. Right? The Heichol is a hundred by a hundred. Right? Uh, with a height of a hundred. Yeah? Um, so now well, how, do we, how do we break it down? So Kaisel Ulam Chamesh, the walls of the Ulam Right, the ulam is the room, the, the outer room, the T part, right, the part that's that's wider, is five. Yeah, va ulam achasesre, and the ulam itself is eleven, so that makes sixteen. Kaisal hechel is sheish, then the wall of the hechel is six, so that's twenty-two. The arkai arboyamama, and the length of the hechel is forty amas, so that's sixty-two. The amatraxin, now the amatraxin, right. So that's 63. The Chof Amma base Kachir Kadoshim and the Chof Amma of the base Kachir Kadoshim is, what are we up to? 83. 83, right? Kaisal Hechel Sheish, that's 89. Pahata Sheish, and there was like a, a section behind that, which was six. So that's 95. The Kaisal Ata Chamesh, and the Kaisal is five. So what do you see from this? That the Amatroxin had its own measurement. It wasn't, we said the Hechel is 40, and we said the Kaisha Kadoshim is 20, right? And the Amatroxin had its own Amma to itself. 
Yeah. I said before it was five amas. I, 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 I was mixing it up. There was the Amma tracks and it was one Amma. So again, the beginning of the Amr and yesterday's Amr, the Chachamim thought that the Amr Traxin is either part of the Kaidish HaKadoshim or part of the Heichel. And now this Gemara, this, from these Psukim and from this Mishnah, it's clear that no, the Heichel is 40 Amas long, the Kaidish HaKadoshim is 20 Amas long, and the Amr Traxin is an Amr. So that Amr of Traxin, that Amr Traxin, that wall is not, not part of the Kaidish HaKadoshim and it's not part of Heichel. It's, not, neither, it's part of neither one. So what was the Gemara of Shaila? The How does that help? The Troxon oh, means the wall between the Kachim and Kachim Kachim. Yes, yes, cool which was an Amal law. The, Am- the Troxon is the wall between the Kachim and the, and the Heichel, and it was an Amal wide. Right? Oh, are we so saying that it has, it has no Kedusha? We're not saying it doesn't have Kedusha, but the... the so which Kedusha does it have? Kedusha, Kedusha, Kedusha. How does no, that help? No, but we're, that wasn't, see, that wasn't the Gemara's Shaila. That's going to be the Gemara's Teretz. What you're saying is the Gemara's Teretz. After Harba Ian trying to figure out how the Gemara changes the Pshat, this is the way, it wasn't Harba Ian. It was Ian, <laughs> right? So um, it's, the Gemara till now is thinking that this wall is either part of the Kaidash HaKadoshim or part of the Heichel. It's not an independent entity. That was their Shaila. Oh. And now we're saying it's an independent entity. Which means it has a different kedusha. Whatever it is, it has a different kedusha. Well, that's not what. That's what the Gemara is gonna. The Gemara is gonna sort of answer what you're saying. But the Gemara's havamina was that it's it's gonna either have the kedusha of the kedusha of kedusha or the kedusha of the heichel, because it's part of it. Right now, the Gemara is saying, "What do you mean? It's not part of it. It's its own entity. Which what kedusha it'll have? We'll get to in a minute. But that yeah, it's its own entity. Meaning they." They, they were not sure whether it's part of the Kaidish or Kedosh or the Kaidish. And the Gemara is just saying it's very simple from the Psukim and from the Mishnah that it's its own entity. It has nothing to do with the Kaidish or Kedosh or the Kaidish. Now, what Kedush it has, we'll get to, but it's not, that wasn't what they were asking, at least with the way Gemara is learning now. That was not what they were asking. It sounds like also that this Gemara is going to end up proving that not only are you allowed to touch the Kaisal of Maravi today, you can put your hand inside the crack. Maybe. Have the Kedusha, it's outside. Maybe. That's must come tomorrow. That's that could be that could be that what you can come out with. Yeah. So that's right. So then Gamara says, Ella Kedusha say ikal of nimakilachutz. It's Kedusha. What the Muhammad were Masubik about is not if the wall was part of the Kaidish, the measurements of the Kaidish Kadash Murahikal. That was not the Shaila. The Shaila was it's its own entity. But is it an extension of the Kaddish Gadashim and therefore it has a din of Kaddish Gadashim or is a part of the Heichel? That, that was the Shail. Bahainu, Dhamma Rabbi Yochanan, that's what Rabbi Yochanan said. By Yosef Ish Hutzel, Yosef, the, um, the man from Hutzel, said, he asked, Udvir Besaycha Bayes, Mepnima, Heichen Lasitin Sham Esarain Bris Hashem. Right? There was the Devir here, the Devir means the wall. Right, truth is before we also said it meant the wall. Yeah, right. I, yeah, it doesn't always mean that, but here the, it means a dvir means the mechitza, the amatraxin, or whatever was there. Right, the dvir is mepnima, going towards the inside of the house of the bias the house meaning the base of mikdash. Heichen, he prepared it to put the aron there. Right? He he prepared the wall to put the aron inside the wall. So he bailu. So what was the shaila to 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 Yosef Ishotzel, Heichi Ka'amar Kra. How do you read the Pasuk? Udvir Besaych Habayis. The Dvir, the wall, is in the house. Right? Mepnima Heichin Lasit and Sham. So it's going to be, the wall is going to be towards the inside. Right? Meaning, but it's not going to be part of the inside. So the wall does not get the din of the Kaddish HaKadoshim. By Dilma, or maybe the way you read the Pasuk, Heichi Ka'amar, this is what it's saying. The dvir that was in the house is part of the inside. Right? And Mela, it is the Kaidah Shekadashim. Right? Again, the same Pasik, the same Pasik, the same Shaila that the Chachamim had, Yosef Ishutzel had the same thing. Because again, the Pasik says, Udvir The Shaila is, what is that Panima? Does Panima mean that the, it, the wall is part of the Kaidish HaKadoshim? Or does it mean, no, that the wall is just um, 
It's just um, uh, it's just a wall that's next to the Kodesh HaKadosh. So that was the Shiloh. So it's the same Shiloh as the Chacham. So now the Gemara says, Umi was he really Mesopic? Right? Vatanya Isi ben Yehuda Aymer. Now Isi ben Yehuda says, Chamesh Mekrois Betoira, Einlein Hechreya. There's five Psukim in the Torah that we have no, Hechreya means we don't have, a, a, literally means like a Psak. We don't have Pshat. We don't have Pshat how to read these Psukim. Okay. So which are the five? So Seis, Meshukadim, Machar, Arur, and Vikam. Okay, so now this needs this needs a lot of uh, so we need the Rashi with this. So Seis is talking about by Cain and Hevel. So right, so after they were trying to get a kapara, not they, right? But uh Cain. So it says, Haloi im seitiv se'es. So, and im loi, then the pesach chatos roivets. That's the end of the puzzle. So the question is, the word se'es, right? Does it mean a kapara or not? Or does it, does se'es mean a kapara? Or does it mean that, that the, the opposite, that he did an aver? Meaning, im loi seitiv se'es, kama, le pesach chatos roivets. Or do we say him loy seitiv seis place right? So that's seis. We don't know which way to go. Mishukadim is the same thing. It says that um, what it's talking about. The, not the same thing, but the same shaila. The the menoira. It says a menoira arba gvia mishukadim kafterel prochel. So it had on the menoira there were four uh, jugs, not jugs, um, cups, I guess, right? And they had almonds and flowers on it. So where's the almonds, right? Is it going on the cups or is it going on the on the flowers, right? So that's another word. Meaning, bottom line is in all these things, where is the comma? That's all. Where's the comma? Machar is the same thing because he said um, when when Moshe was saying to go to telling Yeshua to go fight on Malik. So when it says Machar, right? So is it part of of did he tell it him to do it machar, right? Or meaning, do you need my tefillahs today or is it going to be tomorrow? And then Arur, that's talking about, now that's going back. That's by Shimon and Levi, right? Um, is it, is it, uh, which, which way are you going to go with the word Arur? And then Vikam, that's talking about, um, uh, that's talking about where they're going to go up to the, to, to Eretz Yisrael. Yeah, so where do we do with the word? What do we do with the word become? Which is interesting thing, stop parenthetically. What, what does this mean? I don't understand what this means. Didn't my short band give over the Tyra? So yes, didn't, didn't he, he just you're saying the trap? He, yeah, whatever. I mean, yeah, but he gave it over to Claudius to interpret, right. Ta- talking about trap, I just looked up the original pasuk in Malachim, and the trap that we have is like neither option. Is that so? I thought I can't say I looked up. The snacht is under Hechen. Uh-huh. That's interesting. That's interesting. I'm saying we have this. We have this in davening too, right? Right. Don't yeah, we have but, it, we, uh, but we made up the davening. It's not true, from the run show. Um, you're right, but I'm just saying, like sometimes in uh, there was some Mishalim. Um uh, by Yishtabach, David ben Yishai. Is it David ben Yishai Avdecha Mishichecha? Right? Or is it David ben Yishai Avdecha Meshichech? Right? I'm just, <laughs> it just whatever, right? It's, uh, then in Ezra Sabe Senu, right? It's Ezra Sabe Senu at home, I love Mogin Mashil of Neim Achreim, Bechol Dorvador, period. Or is it Bechol Dorvador, Berum Oilam, Meshavech, or whatever? That's it. If, all, if, if, if all they used to say about uh, by Rashanim Kibbut, Kararai Gazar, Dinainu, 
Right, 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 right. right. Very good, very good, Mike. Yeah, exactly. So we have a lot of those. So, okay, whatever it is, but that was, so we're saying that those are the five sukkim that, what was his name? Because the names are going to play a, uh, Isi ben Yehuda it said, those are the five sukkim we don't have shot. Right, Vatanya, right, and we learned in the Bible. So, who Yosef Ish Hutzel, who Yosef Abavli, Yosef Ish Hutzel was Yosef Abavli, who Isi ben Yehuda, who was also Isi ben Yehuda, who Isi ben Gurarye, and he was also Isi ben Gurarye, who Isi ben Gamliel, who Isi ben Mahalal, Uma Shmoy, Isi ben Akiva Shmoy, right. Meaning they're all the same. So the bottom line is it all he must have been a spy or something, right? So uh yeah, so he had all these names, but bottom line is it's the same person. It's the same we person. We have the same psachim, this price. Yeah. yeah, yeah, very good. Taka. Right. So so uh whatever it is, so he said, How can he be Masubic about this pasik over what the wall is between the Kaidash Akadashim and the Heichel? If he said there's five psukim in the Torah we don't know about, and the, this pasuk that we're dealing with, with the wall in between the Kaddish and the Hegel, is not one of the five. Right? So how could it be? So the Gemara answers, By the Torah, in the Torah, there's only these five. But in Nevi'im, there's a lot more. Right? So it says, with the Raisa, that's what I want to say. Taisa says, the Pasha Takash, why is the Gemara not going? Through the order of the, it starts with Bereshis, that's fine. Then it jumps to Shemois, right? Then it goes back to Shemois, then it goes back to Bereshis, and then to Devarim, these five. Why didn't the Gemara say it in the order that it came, that it does? Right? Which Tosus doesn't answer it. Tosus doesn't answer the Kasha. Right? Because we don't know Pshad in this either. We don't know, know Pshad, <laughs> where we don't know, we don't know his names. We don't know Pshad in the five Sukkim, and we don't know Pshad in the order. We don't know anything <laughs> about this, so it's all. I hear, I hear, very good. Okay, that's, uh, yeah. <laughs> that's, uh, yeah. Okay, so then the Gemara says, with the Rai Selech and the Torah, there's no other cases of what we don't know how to read it. Vaika, the boy of Chista, there was a, there was a question of Chista, asked, Vayishel Chaznare B'nei Yisrael, Vayalo Oilois Kvasim, Right, and it says that the Nari Bnei Yisrael brought up Eilos Kvasim of lambs, Vayizbuchu Zvachim Shlomim Parim, and then they brought up Shlomim Karbanos of Shlomim Parim. Is that the way you read it? Meaning there were Kvasim and there were Parim. Idilma Idiv Idi Parim, or does the word Parim go back on both types of Karbanos? Right, meaning do we read it as one straight run on pasuk, or do we say no? Right. So do you see that's a that's a that's a pasuk in the Torah. So and we didn't know we don't know how to read it. So to give more answer, the Rav Chista Masapkale. The Rav Chista had a suffix about it. Lizi ben Yehuda pshita le. Lizi ben Yehuda was pasha to him. He didn't have a um, he didn't have he didn't have a shaila which way to read it. But it's interesting because the Gemara doesn't tell you which way Isi ben Yehuda read it. Right? It doesn't say. So he had he knew the pshat, but it's not telling us the pshat. So we're left hanging again. Rabban, I guess it it, uh, it <laughs> drags it for some reason. This is like a teku. It's like a teku Gemara. But uh, yeah, so he Isi ben Yehuda had pshat in it. Uh, Rav Chista did not have pshat in it. Okay, and the bottom line is we and we don't have pshat. Bottom, <laughs> the bottom line is do, what is the status with the wall? It has the kedusha of kaddish kedushim or not? We're leaving that by a tzorchian too, right? The Gemara didn't answer it, right? And the Gemara didn't answer yesterday's Shaila either over whether the, the part of the Kayan Gadol is a, is a carbon tzibur or a carbon yachid. And then the, the block before that, we had about 10 tekus within the two block before that. All right, I don't know. I, uh, that's enough material for a shtickle tire, but I don't have Gershon. That's your homework. <laughs> yeah. Yeah. <laughs> All right. So let's see. Let's see. Weiter. Okay. Next Mishnah. So Hachitzayna, right? This came up yesterday also. Hachitzayna has a proof So the now this Mishnah is Mashma. Yet last yesterday's Mishnah, right? Then the last block we had a machloikis whether it's two curtains or one curtain. This Mishnah is clear that it's two curtains, 
which Rashi points out, he says the Rabbana, the one that's saying it, that it's two curtains. The outer curtain, meaning the one on the Heichel side of the Kodesh HaKadoshim, it was, it was like buttoned, folded back, so that you can get in, so that the Kayan could get in. It was like folded back. From the south, and the inner curtain was folded back from the north. Right? I think yesterday there was an art scroll had a I don't know if today's David has a chart has a, a map of it whatever it is he went in he went in on the south side and then he walked in between the curtains up into the north side and then he went in he went in in the north side so and he walked in between the curtains until he reached the north once he got to the north then he turned around towards the south then he walked with his left to his left to the parochis, which is what's going to happen when you're walking from north to south, right? And the parochis is on the Mizrach, so his left is going to be going along the curtains. Achu Magila Aran, till he reaches the Aran. Higila Aran, once he reached the Aran, Naisana Samach the Beit Shneabadu, he takes the, the shovel of coals and puts it in between the two um, what do you call sticks that are holding, that hold, that held the Kruvim. Yeah, and then he piled the katiris on top of the coals. And then the whole bias filled up with smoke, right? Which is part of the mitzvah that the whole the whole kadashikadash was filled with smoke. And he goes out backwards, which you're going to see a lot of Gemara Bezashim tomorrow on this, backwards, the way he went in. It's a riot of Hutner that you know what I'm saying. I don't know if you need a riot of Hutner, but you got to back. You got to go back. So he backed out, right? Um, bespalo tefila kitzara bebeis achitza, and he daven the short tefila in the in the heichel, right? Again, nobody was allowed in the heichel, right? When he was doing this, remember we learned that uh, last week. Nobody's allowed in the heichel. V'loy hoya marach betefila, but he didn't daven for a long time. So he shouldn't make everybody nervous. Like, where is he? Which we're going to see in those Amais and the Gemara, where the Kayan did stay too long and he made, he made everybody nervous. So he made a short tefillah, and, but not a long tefillah, so he doesn't make anybody nervous. Yeah? Okay, so that's, this, basically, that's basically why did how, he, what he did in the Kodesh Kedoshim. Yeah? Why did he have to wait until the, the Kodesh Kedoshim was full of smoke? Is that just to make a nace that he didn't die of smoke inhalation? An extra nace? I don't know. Did it say he had to stay there? It says Yatsa after that. He he put it in there and then Nismale. That's what happened. No, Lakhari, you're right. No, Lakhari, you're right. He's telling us what he's doing. The whole mission is about what he's, yeah. Uh, He had to stay there until the whole thing filled up. I hear. I don't know why. I don't know what the shot is. Why he had to stay there? I don't know. What do you think, Michael? And I, I'm asking. I, I once saw a video. I, I, I'm just curious if the if the Christians got this from the base of Migdash. I once saw a video that I don't know if you ever saw such a thing outside of the Vatican that there's like a like a a, a black a puff of smoke that comes up or a white one at certain times of the year. Yeah. So, do you ever see such a thing? Yeah, they have. They, everybody knows that. What's the big deal? I have, it's just, well, I, I have no I idea. Know. I have so many videos in my head. I don't know where it's coming from. That's huh? that's when they pick the new. Uh, when they pick uh, a new pope, gala. they do white smoke. It's a whole husband to it. Ah, okay, right. fine. So, so I got a lot of videos in my head. I don't know where they come from, but I'm just curious. You think that comes from somewhere from the from the from the Macarsa? English, Mustama, like the, everything else. No, the whole sense here comes from Ktiris. They use incense in every in every uh, tefillah they do. Pretty All right, they swing, it, they swing it back and forth like a yo-yo, right? I'm the, I mean that in a respectful yo-yo type of way. Yeah. <laughs> Don't yeah, make fun of a yo-yo, okay? <laughs> Rabbi yeah. two days ago, we were all, everybody was jumping up and down. If his, his beggar is going to get dirty, if he's going to walk into the wall, it's going to... So now he's standing in a room davening full of smoke. Is this in his bag going to get some smoke on it? I hear. Incense. It's incense. 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 Yeah, incense smoke is white. It's white. Makes no okay. sense. You mean so it's white and, and he's wearing big day love on? Yeah. I hear. The Manira smoke was from the wick. That was cloth. That's black smoke. I hear. Uh... 
I hear you. I don't know. All right, let's see. Let's see. Sazak di Gemara. Yeah. Billy Gershon, white smoke, black smoke. Come on. Everything's equal nowadays. <laughs> he is saying it's equal. He's not saying it's not equal. It's, no. it's called equity. It's called equity, not equal anymore. All right. <laughs> okay. Sazak di Gemara. Which base of which Mikdash are we talking about here? And if we're talking about the base of the first base of Mikdash Miyava Paraitas, there was no Paraitas. We learned that yesterday. That had the Amatroxin, that had the real wall in between. So that can't be talking about. Ella of Mikdash Shein. He must be talking about the second base of Mikdash. Miyava Aran. Unfortunately, there was no Aran. Right? But Tanya, we learned that Abraisa, Mishanignas Aran, when the Aran was hidden, right? Meaning after the Bayes Rishon. They put away the Aaron, Nigna Zaimai, so hidden with it was Tsinsanes Amon, the, the thing of Mon, right, that they saved, right? Vitzloichis Shemen Hamishcha, and the, the vial of the Shemen Hamishcha that they used to anoint everything with the Mishkan, Umakle Shal Aaron, and Ushkadeo Proche, and the stick from Aaron with its, with its uh, uh, nuts that, that grew on it, right? Remember the after after Kairach and everything, so Hashem said, put everybody put in their sticks, and whichever one it grows on, that's gonna. And it was Aaron, it was it was the Aaron Akoyan stick. So that showed that there was no questions asked. That uh, I'm sorry, after Kairach, is it right? So there was no questions asked. So that was a nace. So that that was also hidden. This is what we call this thing a time capsule. What what's it? Sinaitis Hamun. That's the mun. They they saved a a, a, a jar of mun for I for posterity. I thought the Metzius of the Mun that you couldn't save it, that it got spoiled. No, but this one, this for this, for this one, they saved it so that the that it would be it would be there forever. Yeah. The Argus Shashagru Plishtim Durin Lelike Yisrael. And also what else was saved, which is an interesting one, because it doesn't really fit with the rest of them, is the box that the Plishtim sent. A, a Duran, a Duran is a present like Yisrael to Hashem. Because what I meant, the story with the, um, I left Shmuley a message today. For today's today's and tomorrow's doc, we need we need him really for, <laughs> yeah. But uh, he said he's still in the middle of Shkolem. But okay, this is, so this is like the you. source of the Raiders of the Lost Star. How's he doing? Hey, Baruch Hashem, I, he left me a message today. Finally, he sounded, it sounded, it sounded, it sounded pretty good, Baruch Hashem. But uh, yeah. Um, but anyway, so the story was with the Plishtim is that when they stole the Aran, so whichever town got the Aran from the Plishtim, so they started getting, uh, what do you call it? They had mice and hemorrhoids. Hemorrhoids and mice was what happened to them. So then they realized that it was happening because they had the Aran. So they sent the Aran back, right? That's the story with the Aran made its way back by itself, unmanned, Right? And they and they sent a gift, right? Which was quite an interesting gift, which was uh, uh, a statue of hemorrhoids and mice, right? And that was the right, and that was the present that they gave back. And that present went in with the orange and everything forever, <laughs> together with the mon and the st- I mean, it's a, it's an interesting. Whatever, it's an interesting thing to be hidden with it. But whatever it is, those are the things that were hidden. Shanema, because it says... How do you make a statue of hemorrhoids? I have no idea. Okay. It's better than mice with hemorrhoids. It was, they, went, they went to the bike riders and they told them how to do it. Oh, okay. <laughs> I mean, nowadays you would Google it. <laughs> Naftali, they asked you... Naftali, they dropped the dollar in front of you. I don't know, okay. Um... <laughs> Yeah, too bad Avi Santek not ought to hear that one. He would really appreciate it. We'll have to tell him that one tomorrow. Anyway, so, right, so whatever it is, I, I don't know how you make the statue. But the Pesach says, <laughs> right? <laughs> and right, it says you take, they took the... Michael, you have to mute. <laughs> yeah. No, that was so part anyway. of the year. Yeah. So you take the, you take that they, they took the Aaron and they took all those things and they... Uh, and uh, with that, they did the Asham because an Asham is a, uh, they did something wrong. The Plishtim did something wrong. Tasimu Ba'argas Mitzido, and they put it into a box next to the Aaron, right? Vishalachtam Oisai, and they sent it to them, Vahalach, and it went. Yeah. So, whatever it is, they hid the Aaron. That's the bottom line we're taking out from this whole thing. 
Umi Gonzo, and who hid the Aaron? Yeshayo Gonzo. Yeshayo did it. Right? So, Uma, Ma Rosh Gonzo, what did he see that he hid the Aaron? Rosh, a Kosov, he saw that the Pasuk says, said, right, in Devarim, Yoylech Hashem Oischa Ves Malkacha Asher Tokim Alecha. Hashem's going to um, take you and to a, to a kingdom, a Shertogmalak, that's going to be on top of you. So he knew that the Klaisal is not always going to be in control. So he got scared. So Arma Benigna, so he went and he hid it. And he said to the Levim who taught everything to Klai Yisrael and who were Kaddish, put the Aaron on top of the Aaron in the, in the bias that Shlomo Melech built. Yeah, well, let me just finish by and then you're not gonna you don't have to carry it around anymore. Ata, we had this pasuk once before, I don't remember where we had it. Ata, um if uh if do as Hashem again was Amma Yisrael, so now then you're gonna serve Hashem. So basically he was telling them, um, put it away and you're not gonna you're not gonna carry it anymore, and you're just gonna deal with Avoid Hashem. Yeah. For second, for Amr Rabbi Laza, and Rabbi Laza said, Asya Shama Shama, and we learn a Gezeira Shava of Shama Shama, right? So, for Asya Duran Duran, Dairis Dairis, for Asya Mishmeris Mishmeris, right? So from all these things, that tells you that it's, that tells you also that they hid the mon and the stick and the, uh, what do you call it? Um, uh, what was it? Mon, the stick, the Aaron. The present from Dairis Dairis. The, that we had Dairis. the other. The hemorrhoid. The present from the flesh the oil. oil. Oh, the oil. Right, good. Thank you. Shem and the, oil, and right. the present the from the flesh right. Yeah, right. The vast, the vast right. So anyway, so what bottom line is, the kasha is that you see that they hid the Aaron. So there was no Aaron the Bayes Shani. So that, again, the, the kasha is... What is this Mishnah talking about? Either there was no, if it's the Bayes Rishon, there was no curtain, it was a wall. And if it's the Bayes Shani, there was no Oren. So the Gemara answers, but Mikdash Shani was really in the second base of Mikdash. Umayagila what does it mean when he reached the Oren? Makam Oren, he reached to the place where the Oren was, but he didn't, there was no Oren there, unfortunately. Oh, he put the, the shovel in between the two sticks. As if it was in between the two bottom, but it wasn't actually in between the two bottom. Yes, yeah, so what are you saying, Gershon? I was thinking, it's interesting that the, the Pasuk, the last Pasuk that we just brought, is technically another Pasuk which can be read both ways. The words HaKadoshim Lashem, in that Pasuk, what do they respond to? The Israel or the Levian? Right. From before the Mishnah, we had a bunch of psukim, which could be read two ways. Right. Oh, so you're saying you have this, it here too. This is another pasuk that can be read two ways. There are a lot of psukim that are read both more than one, but that's only Isi Ben Yehuda only had an issue. He only knew he, he had it. He knew five of them. No, that was from the Tyre. That was from the Tyre. In the VMA, they, they they were Moscow. I just I'm just saying, I find it interesting that right after the Mishnah, it brings another pasuk that can be read both ways. Nothing to do with yeah. the one like this before. Yeah, interesting. I hear that's a good that's a good aura. That's a good aura. Okay, let's go a little weiter because tomorrow's daf is a lot because a lot I of think, it. Uh, I think the eight minute daf may have some diagrams on the on the uh, hemorrhoids if anybody wants to post it. He does? No, no, I'm kidding. <laughs> okay. 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 okay, okay. So let's see, Vaitis. So what is it? Do we pause the guitarist on top of the coals? Tran Kemanda Omar. So we had this um two days ago, stuff, I think it was. Three days ago, that how did he how did he put the katarus on top of the coals? Did he dump it all all at once, or did he spread it out, you know, in uh, in parts? So Tana Kamanda Amar Tsaivra. This this Mishnah sounds like the one that says he put it all on at once because it says Tsaivra. So one second on the previous Gemara, we we thought it was going on the poles and that it was leaning on the poles. What do you mean? When he would put the the the, the coals. No, it's it just in between on the floor in between. So he, he originally he was we thought he was going to put it on the floor in between the right. poles, right? And now we're saying he still did that. He just did it where the Aaron was, where the poles. Correct, were. correct. Okay. Yeah, yeah. That's the maskon. 
Right. So now the Gemara is saying, Satana command Omer Tzaybra. We learn like the Mandomer that says that this Mishnah says he piled up all the Qataris all at once. He didn't spread it out. But Tani Chada, right? But we have we have different prices. Tani Chada Tzaybra Pnima Shihi Chutzaloi. First, he puts the, the Qataris on the inside, the, on the pile, on the meaning there was a shovel, right? So he put the Qataris on the side closest to the Aran or where the Aran was supposed to be, right? Which is far away from him. And then he moves the, as he pours the, the Ketiris, he moves it closer to him, right? For Tani Ida, we have another Brisa, Saivra Chutza, Shehipni Malai. He pours it on the outside, meaning further away from the Aran or where the Aran was, which is closer to him. So which way does he go? But one Brisa says, he pours it closer to him first and then moves towards the Aran. And the other one says he starts from the Aran and pour and then moves closer to him. So I'm Rabbi tonight. Well, Tanai what's is what's it is is it trying to say here if he's doing this movement, is that mispazir or tsaiver? Is it trying to say that tsaivra could mean mispazir? I, I don't know. I'm not sure. I'm wondering that myself. I don't know. Sounds like it's this is mispazir, not tsaivra. So it's really answering the Gemara. The Gemara was trying to say that it's a raya from the Mishnah of the Tzavra. But then we have two Brises that say Tzavra in a direction, which would mean Mispanzer. So Tzavra is not a raya to anything. That's what it seems. That's what it seems. Uh-huh. But I'm not sure if that was the Gemara's Kavana, but that's what it, yeah, that's what it mm-hmm. seems. So, yeah. So Amar Abaya, Tanai, it's a Machleik is Tanayim. But Amar Abaya, Mestavra, Kemad Amar, Penim, It's a Machleik is Tanayim, but it makes sense that it goes that he pours it on the part further away from him, on the coals that's further away from him, closer to the Aaron. It's Nan, Milam de say, we teach him, we teach the Kayin Odo, he's our, be careful, Adam and Aleph now, Shalai Tasla mi Panecha, don't start right next to you, Shema Tichba, because you're going to get burned. Meaning, what's going to happen? If he pours the Katiris right on top of the coals, right next to him, and then he has to reach out his arms to get further in towards the Aaron, so the, 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 it's going to start burning and it's gonna, he's going to burn himself to kind of go. So we tell him to, to, to be careful. Right? Meaning start, so, so therefore he, he should start further and then move in. How is the smoke hotter than the heat from What's the coals? Up, by the way, this, this is talking about not the Katiris and the Kedush Kedushim. This is talking about the daily Katiris. And we're saying the same way. It works for the daily Katiris. So we're going to say the same thing by in the Kedush Kedushim. Right? Yeah? Did I just freeze? I froze a second. Okay, good. No, Fine. no, you're good, you're good. Okay, so good. So, Tanar Abonim. Yeah? It says he puts the Ketiris on the Eish in front of Hashem, which means he shouldn't fix it on the outside and then bring it in. Meaning, we had this, I don't know, we had this way in the beginning in the Sefta. The Tzdukim held that you don't bring the coals into the Kaiser Shikadashim and then pour on the Ketaris. They held that you pour the Ketaris onto the coals before, and then you go, and then you bring it in. Right? To, to exclude the Tzadukim, you fix it on the outside. You pour the Ketaris onto the coals on the outside, and then you bring it in. My drush, what did, the, what did they darshan? Right? Keep it on on a royal Akapiris. In a in a cloud, you should appear with the kapiris. The lamachi sakami bechutz viachnes. You should fix it on the outside and then go in. So Amr lehem chacham and the chacham said back to the tzukim. Well, like far nemar, but it already says v'nosan es ktaris ala eish lufnei Hashem. You're learning that you should put it on because you should go into Hashem with the cloud already. But it says in a pasuk that you put the ktaris on the fire in front of Hashem. Imkain matam aloymer. If that's the case, what do we learn out from the Pasuk? You have to put um, one of the ingredients of the Ketiris is Mila Oshan. It's called Mila Oshan. That it's something that's going to cause it to smoke much more, like a smoke bomb, something like that. Right? And how do you know that you're supposed to do Mila Oshan? Because it says in the Pasuk, the chisa anana kataris is a kapiris, and the anana of kataris covers over the kapiris, the the cover that's on top of the aron. 
But if he didn't put the Maila Ashen on it, or if he's missing one ingredient from the Ketairis, right? That's what we say of those that say Ketairis every day. Right? So it says, Why don't you just say that he brought something into the Kaiser Shikadashim for no reason? I mean, if he brought the Ketairis in missing the Maila Ashen, so it's missing an ingredient, right? And that means you, you came into the Kaidash Gadashim for no good reason because you don't have the right things to come into the Kaidash Gadashim with. So it should be Chaim Misa out that, not because he's missing one of the ingredients. So Rav Sheshes, we're talking about an interesting case. It's talking about where he was a Shaygit coming in, but he was a, he did it bemazed with the Ketairis, meaning he was a Shaygit. He didn't really know that he was in the Kaidash Gadashim, or however you want to learn it. He, he wasn't sure. And he was amazed with the Ketairis. So therefore, that's how you would be potter from going into Kajah Kedoshim, but Chayiv, because he's missing an ingredient. Ravashi Yomar, Ravashi is a different the, was, One second. Was, Ravashi Yomar, Ravashi is a filu teima, hizid, bezu, bezu. It's really, he could be talking about when he was amazing on both. Going to Ayel Shtei Ketairis. He came in with two sets of ingredients of the Ketairis. Acha Shleim of Acha One was the full ingredients, and one was missing one ingredient. Abia loy mechayev, so he's not chayev for bringing it in, uh, going into the kodesh hakadoshim with the improper ingredients. So ayale shleimer, he did bring in the proper ingredients, right? Aktara mechayev, but he's going to be chayev for being makter kataras, missing an ingredient to come makter kataras lasera because he was being makter kataras that's missing. Meaning, so Ravashi's teretz is that he brought in two sets of kataras, one proper set, one improper set. So he came into kodesh hakadoshim, he's fine because he brought in what he's supposed to bring in. But he was makrif Kataris that was missing an ingredient. So therefore, he's chay of me. So, okay. Uh, uh, fine. Okay, we'll uh, stop here. All right. I'll go to Nacht, everybody. Michael. Michael. Um, Michael, you still there? No. I don't know. I guess he checked that. No, he's there. I don't know. He's on there. Tiago, if you think about it, the Tadukim were sitting there fighting over how they did this whole... Michael. Well, they were fighting what, Gershon? Hi, Gershon. Yeah, it's like in the base of Mikdash, this is what they were doing? This is good. What? It's good they're fighting over this. That's I'm just amazing. saying, like nowadays, what would you consider Tadukim nowadays? The women or the wall? They'd be considered conservative. The so you're saying, like, why are they, they even being Gairus then? That's what I'm saying. Like, you think about it, like nowadays, like we're all the Friar, the this, the that. They're not even... Here, they're sitting there having machloikism about how you're doing the, uh, uh, you know what I mean? Like, in the base Hamikdash. It's almost like Hasidim versus, uh, you know what I mean? Like, oh, we hold this, you don't do this. We say Karbanas, you don't say Karbanas, you know what I mean? Right, right. I was wondering, like, why we even got us them? Nowadays, be like, who cares? Because back then, they were taking, I think they were taking a lot of people away from Klai, so, so we had to try and disprove them. That's, uh, I think. These were Vela Malsinim, Vela Minim. Still say yeah. it. Yeah, yeah. It's got to start somewhere. Yeah. All right, I got to log off now. I'm sorry. Yes, I know you wanted to say uh, something, but uh, yeah. I don't know how this whole Katiris thing works. The base of Tina's made the Katiris. So all of a sudden, there's two sets. He walked in without. Uh, what are we going? What's going on over here? I hear. No, so some guy made his own. That's what I understood. And plus, we just had we just had the Gemara before that said the base of Tinas was the only one that knew what Mala Ashen was. Right. They wouldn't even tell Rabbi Shmuel. Right. I this didn't this couldn't ever happen. I hear. Add it to your homework. <laughs> 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 All right, <Zion. laughs>